Well, hey guys, welcome to New River, New Gorge. River Gorge National Park. Yeah. So, there it is. We are doing the uh, Fayetteville Road. We are going to be going down and under the bridge. Um, but what a place. It is awesome. So this is the longest arch bridge in the Western Hemisphere. It is the third highest bridge in North America. And underneath the bridge, you could fit the Washington Monument, two Statue of Liberties on top of it, and still have 20 feet to spare. Yeah, we're walking the little underpass on um, Wednesday night. And we'll bring that to you night. later. Yeah. Right? We're gonna film the whole uh, walk in the underpass of which I don't like heights anymore, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I am going to do it. It's gonna be a big so, yeah. um, we're going down to the bottom. Hopefully, we'll get some great pictures down there. And hey, we are glad you're with us. It used to be, before the new bridge was built, that you had to come down into the gorge and across this small one-lane bridge to be able to get across the river. And I can't tell you exactly when the bridge, I'll throw it up here when I figure it out, exactly when the new bridge was built, but it made passage across the river so much faster. But check out this view. time for uh our first and only sticker this summer that's kind of sad but well we have other things before too this summer though. we are uh we are adding west virginia west virginia so we almost got the eastern seaboard except for all the teeny tiny little bitty states over here in new york and vermont yay our map gets fuller This is trains actually run alongside oh, yes. All right, guys, so this morning we're in Thurman, West Virginia, or what is left of Thurman, West Virginia. This is an old, what is it she said, back, train, train city um, that served the coal industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, With up to 20 different trains a day coming through. So I, this was... This was no doubt a, a thriving area at one time, and now it's just it's just dried up. Well, there's, it, there are three people that live in this town. Yeah, population three. Yeah. 
Revolution. You had like the Carnegies and the Rockefellers and stuff like that. And they were railroad people. Did they have anything to do with the coal or was that a total I'd say entity? that's a totally different group. Okay. Because the picture of the coal barons that she had looked a lot like the pictures that we see of, you know, that group. Vanderbilt was the railroad baron. Yeah. Uh, Carnegie was the steel baron. Mm -hmm. um, and then Flagler. Rockefeller was in there with the oil business. So, I mean, that was just the time that the country prospered. Yeah. And so much money was made by a certain few, so you were either rich or poor. So if you look really close in the trees is a home. And all the homes were up this hillside. And the vegetation and all has just taken back over. I'm not going to climb up there and look at the house. So our little ranger was telling us that there is an Amtrak train that comes through here twice, twice a week, two or three times a week, two or three times a week. and this is still an active stop for yeah, um, it's an active flag stop. And, that, and, and what is that? So that means that in order for the train to stop here, you actually have to have a ticket. Um, otherwise, they're not going to stop. And they put a flag out to let the train know to stop. I think that's cool. That is pretty cool. All right, so that is it from Thurman. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun, Beck? Yeah, very interesting. Um, really makes me think about the frailty of human existence. Well, good morning. We are in Beckley, West Virginia this morning at the Beckley Exhibition Coal Mine. Keep your hands and feet inside these rails. Do not drag the top with your hands. No smoking in the mines. If you chew this stuff, don't spit the cars. That's legal. <laughs> Take all the I'm going underground, going underground. family on this farm out front. They were farming, so one day digging post holes by accident, they found the seam of coal, <coughs> called the Sewell seam. You can find this in Virginia and West Virginia. A real good quality seam of coal. They probably maybe had a couple hundred acres, so they owned that much coal. What they wanted to do was mine coal and sell house coal to folks in this area, see if they could do better than farming. Well, they mined in here for 20 years, done real well. Just the family and a few close friends. All work was done by hand. They had to shut down in 1910. Coal companies were selling coal cheaper than put them out of business. So this mine set here from 1910 to 1959. That's when the city of Beckley got this property.
hand loader working for a coal company, not a family mine. She had 20 hand loaders. Each one would have a place like this of their own to work. They could leave their tools here. But if they could not load six cars in a 12-hour shift, the company fired them. They would bring boys with them, six to 15 years old, help make the cuts and load the coal. Those boys never got paid a penny for that. Training them is what they call it. When they got 15, they got a place of their own to work. All right, what an experience Whoa. to go down in the mine and wow. to hear the stories. stories. And he then fantastic. I, he was great and how miners were mistreated by the company and the company store and that, you know, everything they made went to the company store. It, it was just- There was no way to get ahead. You were always gonna be indebted to the company. Always gonna be indebted to the company. So in Beckley, if you come to Beckley, you, gotta do you this have job. got to do this. And if you're over this. 55, you count as a senior citizen. Yeah, we didn't know that. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, we tried to keep everything as authentic as possible so people could really see how the miners lived. Wow. And, uh, but feel free to look around. Okay. Uh, was one bed nearer from the teens, and you might see something from 1950. But anyway, uh, everything was donated. Um, Luckily, I don't remember a time when I had to use that. So as we go through this this um, miners camp or community, um, it reminds me a lot of North Georgia where I'm from and the, uh, the cotton mill communities and you had the mill village and the house we were just in reminds me a lot of the houses my grandparents lived in. So it brings back a lot of uh, memories in uh, the comparison between the cotton mill villages and the coal mining villages. Well, working in the coal mine sure does work up an appetite. Good Lord, I don't know how those people survived. I don't either. I automated it 10 minutes and yeah, I didn't run this. But I gotta say, if you, if you come to this area, this is so informative. Yeah, it really is. Um, and the guy that was our tour guide was amazing. He had 56 50, something years in the coal mines and the stories he could tell, oh my stars, he was wonderful. And I'm sure every every tour guide they have does oh, yeah. the same thing. But um, we are going to go find something to eat and we're gonna have to find directions to get there. So we're gonna leave you guys here and, and we're going to eat. <laughs> All right, guys. For today's adventure, we are about to get up close and personal with this bridge. Sometimes the straps are a little bit hard to buckle and tighten, but you should be good. So I'll hand it to you with this yellow strap, and this should be in the front, and then this blue loop should be on your right. And you can also sit down to do this in, in case you're afraid of falling or something, but there's two loops on the inside, and you're just going to stick both feet through those loops, and then pull them up like a pair of pants. Alright guys, that's where we're going. Down on that cat ball, and walk across that bridge. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna be okay. But it is fun. Uh, 
right, so the crazy thing is with the traffic going over the top, the bridge shakes, but not bad. All right, so I'm gonna admit, this may be one of the craziest things we've ever done. What do you think, babe? It's so freaking awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are past the halfway point and I gotta say it's not as scary as I thought it would be and I think that is because the scenery that we're looking at just kind of um, overtakes that but um, we are headed across the other side What do you think? God, that's one of the coolest things we have probably ever done. Was that worth every penny that we spent? That was so cool. She knew life with me would be interesting. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if you like our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.